Hi, so back from a very busy day at the Great Electric Train Show in Milton Keynes. I'm not holding a black five, no. You haven't seen a black five here? Absolutely not. And <laughs> none of the realm that spotted I was holding a black five, did you ever? No, none of you. <laughs> did you say yeah, 28? Well, you said 27, 28. So anyway, um, yes. A great day at the Great Electric Train Show. You walk through the doors and the first thing that hits you is making tracks. One, two, three. Absolutely massive. It is... I, I can't even describe it. If you can get there tomorrow, you must go. You must see it for yourself because none of us here, even the videos we try and take, <laughs> actually captures it. If you're actually there looking at it in person, it's fantastic the work that's gone into it and you know the endless hours of the guys setting it up and getting it all joined together and I, I can't even put it into words to be honest I have to, I, I just walked through the door headed for it straight away it stood there looking thinking oh my god <laughs> you know um, for those of you that are there today you'll know exactly what I mean um, I will piece together some of the footage I took um, probably tomorrow or Monday for you for those who can't go but if you still can tomorrow I highly recommend to get yourselves there and have a look because no matter what I say or anyone that was there that puts it together it's nothing like seeing it with your own eyes it was crazy <laughs> shall we say the most ambitious the biggest thing most fabulous train layer I've ever seen in my life I'm not even exaggerating that so um so yeah so thank you um to all of you rail nuts and feet obviously um for putting that on for us all you know we really appreciate it everybody that was there was just talking about it it's absolutely fantastic and I know you probably all think I'm a little bit tired tonight but you know it was worth it to see so many people just going wow that's it um, and thank you all guys as well for finding the time to say hello and stand and chat. Um, it was lovely to talk to you all and just hear, you know, the stories of the last few days of how you're getting on. So yeah, thank you. Um, and to be to be honest, for me, it made the show today. Um, obviously, there's a lot of great exhibitions there and you know selling stalls and everything like that. But for me, it was obviously the star of the show. So. Um, but besides that, um, I have come back with a few purchases, no black fives, none whatsoever. Oh, what's that? <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe one, maybe just one. <laughs> um, so yeah, one black five. Um, but shall I show you what else I found once I knock over some building on go from the station? <laughs> it's ever clumsy me strikes again. Let me switch the camera and show you what else. Oh, maybe I want to switch the camera. So we'll start here. WWS handmade trees. Look at that beauty. Fortunately, I didn't quite have. Oh, <laughs> yeah, look at that beauty go. <laughs> I think there's a storm. Um, yeah, they didn't have a box to put it in. So I've had to like, it is on blue tack stood there which obviously just decided it had enough but um so i have lost <laughs> me being me <laughs> as you know i'm a bit clumsy i have lost um a branch of it transporting it home we did tell me to look after it as well but in my defense i'll give me a box then so i might when i position out on the layout i might leave that branch off rather than finding where it should go which i think might be there. <laughs> but have some natural storm fall like dead fall might be nice um these were wws as well these were boxed slightly smaller but still handmade and beautiful i absolutely love these on a sudden i thought Do you know what i've got to have a few of those <laughs> now chris real nuts chris i know you said to me you could make these you could make some yourself but Yes, I could, but have you seen how long it's taken me to do this layout? And <laughs> look what you've done with making tracks in the meantime. <laughs> anyway, I found this other wonderful stall called Primo Models. And these, I looked at these and I thought, do you know what? Leversham Forest. 
a spruce trees tall tall he did all sorts like birch oak everything but i went for the spruce with a tall trunk because they just smack leversham those who've been there he did them all different sizes i didn't go for the very small i don't know how well it's showing up oh here we go and these are the larger ones if i get into the box see how like tall trunks are dead kind of absolutely talented guy he does say he does online too, um, with free shipping over £50, so Primo models, so talented. He had, like I said, check him out, he had all sorts, all sorts of different trees, so authentic. The birch were beautiful. Um, if I show clothes, when I actually fetch them out of the box, I'm going to feature them again, because I actually think, in fact, I'll pick this one up. Does that help? I don't know. Ah, there we go. Can you see that? So realistic looking. Into the box a little bit. And he actually gave me, I think he was like giving these to a lot of people, but <laughs> him so it's nice touch. He said, Oh, you pick some flowers, take some flowers with you. So I was like, Oh, I'll have some blue ones, please. And he makes those too. But yeah, but it's a nice touch here. Whether you buy one tree or you buy ten trees, I don't know. It's still nice to yeah, I feel like he's giving you a little something, you know? So yeah, fabulous tree collection. I'm really pleased with those. But I will be checking him out online because I say, if you haven't looked, just have a look at the skill. I know, yeah, you can, you know, perhaps have a go at making them, but when you get someone like this so skilled and talented, they need to be encouraged, I think. And those are the WWS ones again, you know, they have made, they're fabulous too. So yeah, do, do check them all out. If you're looking for trees, absolutely amazing skill here. Yeah, lovely to meet Stuart today, um, finally. And did me a nice little uh, old gauge wagon there. He told me I needed a, a wagon to go all these old gauges I'm buying. And oh, who's this here? Nice Duchess set. For those who remember, my Duchess blew up. Um, I thought the Duchess, no, I thought the control box had blown up, if you remember, and took the Duchess out. But it turned out the Duchess had actually took the control box out. So I saw this rather nice set here. And I thought, Do you know what? Nope, let's have a new Duchess. So it was nice LMS carriages. If I go in a bit closer. There we go. And then just here we have, oh actually, yep, yeah, is that the blown up one? <laughs> anyway, and some nice flowers I found, thanks to the guys with your live steam. Pointing me in the right direction, it's beautiful, can I get a bit closer? These tulips, I thought they'd be nice, by houses. Tulips, daffodils, and that's for diddle squat, some cauliflower and broccoli. I hate both of those vegetables but do you know what I thought they looked nice and they looked nice at the farm. And of course you did not see me holding a black five. No, no more black fives. It definitely wasn't another black five. <laughs> definitely not. That black five that was here all along, <laughs> it hasn't come back today for Milton Keynes. No, it was there the other day. I'm sure if you check back, I'm sure it was sat right there the other day. Yeah, definitely. Sure it was. And thank you to Stuart. Lovely to meet you as well. No commotion. My little goodie bag. And amongst it, other things we got. What have we got in here? <laughs> so yeah, thank you very much. It was lovely to meet you. So for all you guys that said hello today, thank you very much. Um, I was kind of overwhelmed with how many people kind of like kept stopping me or coming over having a chat. So I didn't catch all of your names. Um, it's always difficult, as I always say, with YouTube because obviously you know I look like I'm not always as familiar with you guys. So. But thank you, 
I appreciate you all taking the time to say hello and have a chat about what's going on here and fives and things. So it was lovely to meet you all and I hope you all had a great day too. So if you're back there tomorrow, again, hope you have another good day. And for those who've yet to visit, you will love it tomorrow. So there are a couple of fives left. I did leave a few, mainly because I already got them a couple of times. So happy five hunting. So have a good night.